and response analysis of a system. So let's see our problem. So in this problem, we are given the overloop transfer function of a system which is having a unity feedback. And this overloop transfer function is gs equals to k upon s t s plus 1. t is the time constant and k is another constant in this which is called the amplifier gain. Now by what factor we should, uh, the amplifier gain should be reduced from 75 to 25%. We have to see that what would be that factor. So let's solve this problem. First, we will find out the characteristic equation of this system. So characteristic equation is given by 1 plus gs hs equals to 0. Now here we are having the unity feedback system, so Hs will be equals to 1 for this system. So we will have 1 plus Gs equals to 0. Substitute the value of Gs here, we will have K upon S is Ts plus 1 equals to 0. If we solve this, we will get the characteristic equation as S square T plus S plus K equals to C. Okay. Then take T as common. We will have T S square plus S into 1 by T plus K by T equals to C. So we have the characteristic equation as We are doing this because we are want to compare this equation with our standard equation that is s square plus 2 del omega n s plus omega n square equals to 0. As we are having the coefficient of s square as 1, that is why we have to make the coefficient of s square as 1 in this equation also. So this is our characteristic equation for this system. Compare this equation with the standard equation, we will get the value of this 2 del omega n, that is the coefficient of s, as 1 by t, and omega n square is equal to k by t. So 2 del omega n equals to 1 by t, and omega n square equals to k by t. So omega n will be equal to under root of k by t. Substitute the value of omega n in this equation, we will get 2 del into under root of k by t equals to 1 by t. So we have del equals to, we have 1 by t, we have 2 root t here, then we have root k here, and we have Then we multiply and divide by t, then this t and they will be cancelled out. So we will get the value as 2 under root k. So del is what? This 1 upon 2 under root kt and omega n is under root k by t. We have got the value of the 
damping factor and the natural frequency. Now we are given the case that we have want to know that by what factor we have to choose the amplifier gain from 75% to 25%. So let us Take the first case when the amplifier gain is 75%. Okay, that is K1. Now when we are having this K1, so del1 will be equal to 1 upon 2 under root K1T. Okay, substitute, uh, supposing we are having the first case K1, so K will be replaced by K1 here and del will be replaced by Delta. Calculate the overshoot because we are reducing the overshoot from 75% to 25%. So overshoot is 0.75 equals to the formula for overshoot is e raised to the power minus del i upon under root of 1 minus del square into 100. Here we are having 75% so it will be 0.75 and here minus del 1 by on under root of 1 minus del 1 square. It will be the first case. Now second case we are reducing the overshoot to 25%. So in this case the amplifier gain that is K2 we are reducing the overshoot to 25%. So in this case, we have del 2 equals to 1 upon 2 under root K2T and overshoot is 25% so 0 0.25 will be equals to minus del 2 pi upon under root of 1 minus del 2 square. So we have obtained the equations for both the cases. Number these equations as 1 and 2. When we solve these equations, so from equation 1, we will get the value of del 1 and from equation 2, we will get the value of del 2. So we have obtained these two equations. Now, if we solve the first equation, we will get the value of del 1 and from equation 2, we will get the value of del 2. So let's solve these equations. So from equation 1, we have del 1 as 0 0.09 and del 2 as from equation 2 del 2 will be 0 0.4 now the value of del 1 it is 2 1 upon 2 under root of k1t and del 2 is 1 upon 2 under root k2t now, if we take the ratios of del 2 and del 1, it will be del 1 by del 2 equals 2. This will be reversed, that is 2 under root of k2t upon 2 under root of k1t. And del 1 is what? 0 0.09 and del 2 is 0 0.4. So, this 2 and 2, they will be cancelled out. Root p, root t, they will also be cancelled out. So we will have del 1 upon del 2 equals to root k2 upon k1 equals to 0 0.09 upon 0 0.4. If we take the square of both the sides, then it will be k2 upon k1 equals to 0 0.05. If we take the reverse ratio, that is k1 upon k2, so it will be equals to 20. So this is the solution to our question that is by this factor that is 20 we have to reduce the amplifier gains so that the overshoot is reduced from 75% to 25%. I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.